for a game, uh, I told I told our guys to empty the tank, leave it all out on the floor, work as hard as you can work, and work to exhaustion to the point where you pass to come out of the game because you're giving everything you got. And I'll get you out of the game, and I'll, I'll put someone else in, and I'll get you back in. So we need fresh bodies out there. And um, they empty the tank today. I felt like they gave us everything they had. Um, they played together. Like a cohesive group, and it, um, I'm very proud of, of, of the effort and the fight that they showed today. But we came up short. Uh, continue to work, continue to uh, trust the process, we continue to stay tight. And um, you know, they gave us 40 minutes, they gave us 40 minutes of effort and fight, grit. And, um, I was very happy with our effort. What I can go is your, what is your view on the overturn call? to appear to score? Um, well, first of all, I didn't know that you could overturn the call, but once, I mean, Mike Reed's a, he's, he's a great official. And um, he went to the monitor, he saw something different. So I have to respect the call. How does that handle that involvement? You go from a chance to hit a free throw at 10 games, but also to play for the basketball? It's tough. It's tough. Um, yeah. It's a blow because you think that you're that much closer to, to winning the game. But it's, it's sports, you know, it's, it's, it happens. So. Justice, can you talk about sort of the emotions after a game when you guys play so well for most of the game and it looked like you were going to win and have it sort of snatched away at the end? Well, uh, you know, I'm proud of my guys today. You know, based on playing off from our season, you know, keep having to build up. And I think we keep building up that we're going to end up getting our win. Today, I feel like, you know, like, we, like Coach said, we put our, our 40 minutes together. So, I mean, it's just it's a, it's a trust and process thing. And, uh, you know, we're getting there. And everyone can see it that we're, they're, they're finally playing like a unit. We just need to capitalize on a few plays that, you know, that, 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 that help us out. Are you surprised when they changed that call? Um, I mean, there's a lot of calls before then that, um, that, you know, we're not going to agree with it all, but I mean, at the end of the day, there's, there's a lot of plays that we ourselves uh, made mistakes on that, that could have uh, prevented us from getting in that situation. So, um, when it comes down to it, I mean, it's the, the recommended call, I think the call, but I right, got look through it and uh, continue on. Connor, you've been 15 points of setting the box. What, what, what were you seeing out from the Sanford defense that uh, <coughs> had a performance that you did today? Um, they left the middle open a lot in their zone. And they were, you know, uh, letting the, the pop open off the ball screen. And so I think um, I just had to focus on knocking down shots. And then underneath, they left the loft open. So, I mean, uh, just getting the points where um, my teammates could get the ball, um, I think that was just basically where it was. Kind of when you're in the middle of a game like that, you started to feel some confidence in your shot and feeling differently than you have some other games. Yeah, um, and once I got into the, into the game and started getting into the flow, um, I was just into the flow of it. Um, so, you know, do one good play um, leads up to another one. And so for me, my confidence is a big thing. Um, just going into the game and knocking the shot or two down, and doing some good defense um, really helps motivate me and I think motivates my teammates too. But you're forced to do a ton of turnovers today. What do you see your guys on that? Well, we wanted to be aggressive and, and look to, to, to push the issue with them. Their team, that typically they turn it over at a high rate. So we knew that we could we could, uh, could pressure them and get them to turn it over. The key was whether or not we could capitalize on that. And I felt like we were able to capitalize on the turnovers once we got out of the transition. We were job of making the right decisions and finishing the transition. Mike, can you talk about the counter scheme and, and sort of not only what he did today, but what it means for how you can utilize him on phone. Well, uh, I think that everyone can see that with seven threes, he's unbelievably skilled. And uh, I, I, I could see that he was going to have the type of game that he had today based on the last three days of practice. He's really put in a lot of work and, and uh, done a great job in practice. So I could, I could sense that his confidence was there. Um, 
to be able to knock down shots and play the way that he did today. And so I'm not surprised that he played the way he did. I'm happy, I'm happy for him. Bright, bright future for him. He did more than just shoot threes today, too. It looked like he hit a yeah. side shot. Yeah, he he threw him hard to the basket yeah. once. Were you pleased to see the variety? 100%. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to see that. I mean, I, I see it every day, so I'm not, I'm not surprised by it. I'm happy to see him be able to do it in a game. Anything else? Connor, I got to ask about the new hairstyle. Is that just new to us? Is that something you've been doing that we haven't um, seen? Couple, last week or two, I'm just trying something different. Um, you know, it's getting my, uh, it's getting my face, so I got to put it up somehow. It's not time to get it yet. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm practicing that, but I'm doing better. Justice, when you guys get past the pain of this game, what do you think it will mean to you in terms of uh, you know the second half of the season? You know, as far as you know, translating this into to wins. Um, you know, the feeling of winning, you know, the feeling of joy is going to feel that much more better, especially especially what we're going through. So I mean, once we get over that hump, because I think we're, we're we're pretty much there, you know, as far as this. As far as competing at the finish for 40 minutes, you know, I think we'll, we'll be able to turn this table and uh, hopefully, you know, hit, uh, take that momentum and uh, finish off the season in the right way. Is it deal or you think I'm going to over the hump that good things can start to happen? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. You know, I'm comfortable with my team and the way that we're handling things. You know, no one's giving up. Everyone's, everyone's coming to practice every day focused because we know once we get over that hump, uh, there'll be a lot of good things coming to us. So, you know, we look forward to that. And, uh, we can't wait to contribute to the floor.